Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our presentation. Uh, we're going to be talking and discussing solving systems equa of linear equations through elimination. And yeah, let's get started. Presenting all of the group members. What do you guys think? Uh, the exact definition for, for what we're doing is the elimination method for solving systems of linear equations using the addition property of equality. Okay, my name is Cesar Godinez, and this is my problem. I'll be showing you all how to do it. Uh, basically, the first thing, first thing first, these two numbers have to equal the same thing, they have to have equal value. So to do that, we have to find the least common denominator. So for that, for 21, it would be three, and for nine, it would be seven, because 21 times three equals 63, and seven times nine gives us 63. And, well, after this, we, we, we do that and it gives us. You got me jumping like. So basically, we're subtracting this equation from this equation. So the bottom equation times the, minus the top equation. And that will give us uh, 63x minus 63x that will cancel each other out. So nothing. This would give us negative 129. And then this would also. Test we're subtracting and this is negative, it actually becomes a positive, so you're like adding. So it would be a positive 129. And this would equal, this would be negative 129. And this is a y. So yeah, to find this, we gotta get y by itself. So we divide by 129. And we divide by 129. And that gives us y equals negative 1. And since we got y, we can now plug it into the top equation. So it'll be 21x. Minus 15 equals negative 36. So obviously we do the opposite. So opposite opposite subtraction is addition. So plus 15 plus 15 that gives us 21. And so we'll be negative. So it'll be 21 x equals negative 21. We divide by 21. Divide by itself to get x by itself. So it'll be x equals negative 1. And since we both got both kinds of them, we put them in the point form, so it would be negative one. Um, my name is Jessica, and I'll be doing this problem. So first, to get nine y and three y the same, where you can multiply this equation by three. <laughs> Okay, to find y, we can plug in the negative 7 into x, so it's negative, negative 7 um, plus 3y equals negative 11. Uh, a negative with a negative becomes a positive, so it's 7 plus 3y equals negative 11. Then we can subtract the 7. And it becomes 3y equals negative 18. To get y by itself, we divide by 3. So y equals negative 6. So the answer is negative 7, negative 6. My name is Jill. This is my equation. So first, we're going to use these two columns. I just brought them back down here. So then we're going to add them. So this is 2x. That's that's just going to cancel each other out. So that's 0 and that's 3z, which is equal to 0. Then we're just going to keep this that equation over here for now. Next, we're going to use these two columns. Yes, it's the chef, what's up, what's really good? She said she trying to come slide through my head. Couldn't deny it even if I said, listen up, don't get So then we're gonna get like times three z, three times three z times two is six z, uh, two z times three is six z. So 
And then with this, we're just gonna solve it. So then that cancels each other out. That's 4x plus nine x is 13x. 13x. 13. 13x equals 13. Divide everything by 13. X equals one. Now that we got our x, we can plug it into this equation. So then this. So then we just plug it in. So and so that's just 2 plus 3z equals 11 minus 2 in the entire equation. 3z equals 9. We can do everything about it by 3. So that's z equals. Alright, so then since we know what z and x is, we're just going to plug it in. It's 1. Plus y plus two plus three equals nine. So that is just one plus y six. Six plus one is seven. Everything by these. We're gonna minus everything by seven. And now we can leave us with y equals two. Then finally we write to get these two uh, equations the same we can multiply the bottom one by two. So it would be negative. <laughs> Go. Right, and we're back. This is a new problem. Uh, basically, starting off the same way, uh, these two have to equal each other, so we're gonna find the least common denominator. For this, would be two, and for this equation, it would be one. That would give us uh, the x cancel each other out. This would be y. 22 minus 19 will give us 3. And we gotta plug in y in our first equation so we can find out what x is. So it will be x minus negative 3 equals 11. Uh, we have this. This equals a plus sign. So it will be x plus 3 equals 11. So minus 3. Opposite addition, subtraction. So minus 3. We do the same thing here to our answer, which would give us 8. So x equals 8. And putting that in point form, that would give us 8 over 3. And that's your answer. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.